Alrighty, so what does a long distance Reiki session or energy work session consist of? Um, I'm going to answer this from my understanding and from what I do when I facilitate long distance sessions. Um, other practitioners might do things differently, but I just feel called to share on this one because I've had um, people, they feel more called to do in-person sessions because they're like a little unsure of what distance sessions like mean, I guess. Um, so in a long distance session, I always set the intention to connect with the client for their highest good mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually in the non-physical and physical worlds in direct alignment with God with the highest love and highest light. That is always my intention for the session. And then I always include whatever intentions they have. Like, do they want to work on some heartache that they're going through? Do they have, like, some pain relief that they're seeking? Um, inner child work? I like to include both of our intentions because, to me, a distance session is a collaboration between, like, God, spirit, source, whatever you want to call the higher power, myself, the channel, the practitioner, and then the client, the one that is... Um, seeking this energy work. Um, so I set the intentions and then the way I was taught in my Reiki classes is to surrogate your body, the practitioner's body, as the body of the client. So once I set the intention of the session to start, I immediately feel like the empathic connections of my client. Um, I could feel like their anxiety, their grief, if they want to cry. Um, tensions in their bodies, which sometimes I might feel tensions in their bodies and like they might not have an injury there, but um, in the energy world it's like there's a trickle down effect. So everything happens in the spiritual and emotional bodies before we feel it in the physical bodies. So sometimes what I'm feeling is on a spiritual emotional level in the body. However, I mean if it's not taken care of it can manifest in the physical body. So anyways, I work with that and I feel in my body as the client and I move energy. I do meridian flushing, tapping, chanting, um, sometimes sound bowls. I do the classic Reiki hand positions as well as like Jin Jiu Jitsu positions and I run through the whole body. Um, and then I also sometimes surrogate and use like a large stuffed animal to do like the backside of the person's body if it's a 90 minute session. Um... It's all about intention and belief um, and the openness and receptivity of the client. And yeah, that's basically what it consists of. 